Hi, this is The Advisor with Stacey Chalemi, founder of The Complete Herbal Guide. And today I'm very excited because I have a very uh, dear person that I have met that I admire so much. Her name is Barbara Depta. She has a unique life story about what fueled her vision for ReSync. Her professional experiences with elite athletes and struggles with recovery from injury are a large part of uh, Barbara's brand and mission. So Barbara, why don't you tell everybody a little about yourself and what you do? And I'm really excited for everybody to know a little bit about you. Thank you, Stacey. It's a pleasure to be here, first and foremost. Thank you for having me and giving me the opportunity to share with uh, your fantastic audience um, how I can contribute to their health. If there's a little noise, it's my little kitten. Whizzy, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to keep her in the office occupied, and it sounds like she took over. Uh, <laughs> You know, you were absolutely right. What you said in the uh, in the intro, um, my passion and uh, my purpose, my service started with really professional athletes, nonetheless in U.S. However, I was born and raised in Poland, and that's where really the journey has started uh, with a painful injury in my elbow as a young gymnast. Um, and of course, in the age of eight, you don't contemplate, you don't understand, you just go through it. Right. And so I did. And when I got to my grad school back in Poland, um, I was playing a basketball in a division one. Technically, you can say here over there, it was like semi-pro. Yes, we did get paid. Technically, my college was paid. So technically division one, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and while I was going through uh, basketball, not gymnastics anymore at that point, because I couldn't really, I still cannot rotate my elbow. Yeah. I still cannot pronate my forearm. So all the movement comes from my shoulder. Right. Now in my forties, I'm extremely um, aware of compensations and how exactly that injury impacted me. Right. Uh, in my entire life, emotionally and physically. First, of course, physically, because you don't realize the emotional impact as a child again, right? Yes. So, uh, yeah, when I was injured, I realized how one lack of mobility in a one joint yeah. um, impacted, you know, immobility in other joints. Exactly. And how, you know, I was limited in what I loved. So even as a basketball player, yeah, you still want to be able to shoot right and left, right? And yeah. you can even see my, I, I can't, I just, I yeah. couldn't. So it would be rotation from the shoulder and then shooting with the left and it was never comfortable. So if you were covering me and you were playing against me, you knew I would never go on the left. <laughs> right, right, yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, sports, athleticism, um, athletics, my passion. So when I was in my grad school, I wanted to come to US from exchange student program and really work with professional athletes. It didn't happen overnight, as you can imagine. Right. Um, I came from exchange student program. I put myself through a school and then I had the opportunity to grow through internship and get H-1B visa and then start to work with athletes. And it's a decade now that I've been serving professional athletes, first PGA Tour players, and then um, really specifically NFL. Mm -hmm. uh, first few athletes within a year. And then once I got a key athlete, the entire team hired me. And I'm speaking specifically of Baltimore Ravens. I know you live in New Jersey, so there is a lot of different <laughs> people like, screw you. <laughs> However, uh, you know, you still have some players on your team that went through my hands and right. I've made impact and they've made impact on me as well. So, uh, you know, once you love sports, you love sports and you love the athleticism that the athletes yeah. showcase on a daily basis because we don't really see the preparation, what happens behind the door. We exactly. only see the game, right? Mm -hmm. We only see the final. But I know I'm going a little bit around. No, it's uh, okay. It's really shortly from injury, one injury of an elbow, to understanding how physical injury can impact other parts of the body, but especially how it impacts you emotionally. Yeah. So when I uh, started to work with professional athletes, I realized that I need to have a niche. And right. again, you're speaking a decade ago. 
So Minot, as a former gymnast, basketball player who always impacted my team with a flexibility, looking at a structural balance from the ground up, I became a flexibility coach and structural right. balance coach to the professional athletes because many men, especially back then, did not yes. pay attention to mobility, movement, no. fascia, health. Mm -hmm. It was new. I was one of the first 35 fascia stretch specialists in the U.S. In oh, wow. That got certified. And, you know, there was less of us than a state in the U.S. Yeah. So there was a lot of work and a big gap about fascia, what it is, what it does, how it right. impacts us. And then you still have your own limited, you know, beliefs and then values about it because you still didn't go yourself. Yeah. The deep healing, right? right? And through that journey that you really had to go. And that happened to me in my 30s. So my entire 30s, now I'm in my 40s, right. was really understanding how the connective tissue fascia, mm -hmm. that it's right underneath our skin yes. and really connects the muscles, ligaments, right. tendons, mm -hmm. cartilage, bones together. It's actually our soft skeleton, expert said, not myself, that holds us together. Right. So took our skin really ripped it or kindly, I don't think there is a kind way of taking skin off. Um, right. If you really uh, dissect a human body and you look what's underneath, without that soft skeleton of the yes. fascia, it wouldn't hold our bones. It wouldn't hold our ligaments, tendons, and muscles in one place. Yeah. So fascia is that really intelligent and very sensory rich net that is powerful and impacts again, like I said, us emotionally and physically. So I was developing programs for athletes, hands-on and uh, in groups, like I would get the entire, you know, um, entire defense or offense in front of me and I would put them through a movement or I would stretch them hands-on on a table. Now it's more prevalent in different uh, teams and even major leagues, but I really was one of the first females in NFL uh, serving athletes with this particular therapy or structural balance, you know, flexibility, lengthening fascia. So it wasn't well known. So I went, of course, through a lot of, you know, yeah. restrictions, rejections from a coaches. Who are you? What do you know? What are you doing here? All of that. It's like yeah. in any business, you are an outsider. Right. You're female. Here I come with the accent, a uh, little petite thing, and I'm trying to make a major changes, right? Yeah. That took time. That took time to connect and to translate, convey the message to every coach and general manager, why I'm here and what I'm doing here. Because when I took one of the most important athletes and I've made a major impact on him. And then I had the opportunity to work with the owner. And then I had an opportunity to work with the coach. Well, I kind of got the most important, you know, people in the uh, franchise to explain and to show, to feel hands on what the value I'm bringing to the athletes. So Stacy, while I was, you know, traveling with Baltimore Ravens, I saw how poorly they were recovering. And listen, we're speaking back then. That's like, you know, I started to work with uh, Ray Lewis and Quan Bolden while they were still Baltimore Ravens. So we're speaking right. 2010, 11, 12. Then we got the uh, Super Bowl and I had the opportunity to work with more athletes from the team 2013, 14, finally became part of the team 2015. And I saw how poorly the athletes were recovering. And I said, okay, there has to be additional value I can bring to them. But again, stay in your lane, right? Be yeah. careful who you try to teach what. So I really went out of my way. Whatever money I've made, I invested into research. I hired actually two researchers while I was traveling with Baltimore Ravens. And I told them what my mission was. How could I fuel the body and bring the same value nutritionally that mm. I was doing with movement? Right. Which was oxygenating the body, releasing the tension, right? Expediting and enhancing the recovery. That was right. my goal. 
I had yeah. no other intention. How could I double the power right. and allow them to have a value while I'm not there physically? Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I said to the researchers, my signature blend is going to be based on the reds. Red spinach, beets, and aronia. They looked at me like I had a third eye. That's the <laughs> thing. Right? They're like, what's red spinach? What's aronia? And beets, yes, we know it. And, you know, again, I really went out of my way. I mean it. I traveled to Geneva, Switzerland in 2015. I remember we had a gap in between the season started yes. and mm -hmm. after the season ended. And there was a expo where medical staff, when really pharmaceutical companies would be participating. There was no coaching staff. Yeah. I was the only coach who participated in every single presentation that was there. And then I walked the floor and I happened to meet the vice president of the company that just came out with the ingredient red spinach. That's 2015. Yeah. It wasn't completely diluted in water yet. It was so bitter, so disgusting. <laughs> I'm like, if you can dilute this in the water, then I will make sure that with the researchers, I will find a way to make it drinkable. Yeah. That's 2015, like really March, May, excuse me. Right. Then fast forward 2015, end of this year, 2016, March, I unfortunately lost my mom. Oh, I'm so sorry. And Stacey, it's just, you know, this is where, where your ground, your foundation yes. is shaken and you understand you've never had a balance. Mm -hmm. it's yes. One of those moments that... And I said to coach John Harbaugh, then I said, I need time out. Mm -hmm. My mom's a healthy 56 year young woman. Wow. Um, yeah. Very young, healthy. So to get a phone call on a Saturday night from your father at 9, 23 PM, which means back Poland, it's like 3 AM in the morning. <gasps> nothing good happens. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was awful. My mom slipped, um, uh, while walking upstairs, he broke, she broke her skull <gasps> and she was gone within hours, you know, six years later. Now I still have goosebumps when I think oh. of it, when, um, I, I literally can go step by step to tell you how the phone call went, what I've heard from my father, yeah. how I reacted. I had to go through a healing as you can imagine. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, the pain was stored in the body. Yes. The pain was stored in the fascia. And yeah. that's when authentically, deeply, I went through my healing. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, and unfortunately, due to my mom passing, right. I understood, I could feel it layer by layer, what was blocking, how emotions can impact your tissues. Oh, yeah. All of a sudden, your posture can change. How yes. your diaphragm cannot function. Yeah that impacts your heart mm -hmm. energy levels and 100%. can people go into depression absolutely definitely. definitely without awareness without the support without um the right people in your life it's very easy to go down oh 100 percent and it, it, that's what I wish was more emphasized in United States ev across the world actually yeah any event in our life, when perceived negative or painful, without reflection and the right attention, yes. can be pain and deteriorate. But yes. with the right attention and reflection, mm -hmm. it can mean growth. Oh, 100%. So, you know, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm very grateful. I wish my mom was here. I talk to her quite often. And uh, she's there listening. And, you know, the aronia that is in resync today is thankfully to her. Right. When I was growing up, she would make jam or, you know, uh, compote, anything yes. from aronia. It's a very bitter berry that kids would not appreciate. Just yeah. And that's why she would try to make it as delicious as possible. But when you make it delicious and you add sugar, of course, you take the value. Yes. And you really go against the purpose of consuming it. Right. He had books back when I was child, how valuable Aronia is. 
fast forward, I'm doing my research, you know, 14, 15, she's still alive. And I'm telling her, mommy, I'm interviewing the experts on Aronia. And she was laughing. She goes, really? It took you, do you know, 20 years to actually value something. I'm like, yeah. How it is when parents say something, kids are not ready for the change, or they yeah. don't want to hear you. It comes here, goes here, away. Goes, yeah. <laughs> didn't even resonate here. Stopped for a second, right? Yeah. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I like to say today, change is not on everyone's shopping list. No, you know that's perfectly. That's a great quote. It's so true. So true. I like to say that, and I said that to, you know, many athletes, you're not ready. That's okay. When you're ready for that ingredient, it will come to your recipe. Right. Um, and do you know what? I, I truly believe she appreciates today because that proprietary, that signature blend of the red spinach, beets, and aronia, it's powerhouse. And that's why it's part of every single product Resync has today. So I started the really company in 2017 when mom passed away. I said to John, I actually had my podcast back then. He was on it. Um, he was just amazed how I would say one would consider how fast I started to recover. And I said, you just don't see it. Superficially, I put the mask on while layer by layer, I was really recovering through the challenges I was facing. But I'm grateful today because right. it, now it's six years, six and a half since she's not with us. Um, nonetheless, the most powerful event that took place in my life that right. changed me deeply. Yes. Um, and again, she lives with every product I create. Yeah. So Resync was really created after she passed away in 2017. Right. Um, the first product was created to expedite the recovery of the athletes. And, do you know, 2017 um, was the first time I had the ability to go to MLB winter meetings and talk about the product and present it to the strength coaches and registered dietitians. At that point, not every team had a registered dietitian. It's just becoming more prevalent right now that they're requested to be there. So we can have an educated conversation right. because not every strength coach um, understands the ingredients. At this point, trust me when I say I've met many registered dietitians and many people, and I don't expect it for everyone to know, yeah. there is probably 99% still people who've never heard of red spinach. I was the first coach actually bringing it from Geneva. Wow. India to US. Yeah. Therefore, today we have a nice relationship with the company because I truly believe in that ingredient. Yes. But not alone. You got to have, just like you know, a blend. One ingredient doesn't do anything, right? right. Never. Mm -hmm. Yes, vitamin D is powerful. But if you just take vitamin D every day and you just eat food that are good for vitamin D or you just stay on the sun all day long, you are not going to be healthy. No, exactly. So that way. So synergy is what we always look for in nutrition, in communication, right? Nutrients have synergy. I always yeah. say nutrients have energy, just like humans do. Yeah. Uh, and I look for the best synergy between ingredients when I create the products. Our products are based on research, not just my wishful thinking. Yes. Uh, and, you know, oh, this sounds good. So let's go with that, right? Right. There is actually science. We did uh, studies in Oxford, UK. I've hired the first actually female professor who've done studies for heart health on uh, beats. Mm -hmm. I flew to Oxford um, and met her in person in 2018. And I it was like international, uh, international actually event where I've met two of the still alive uh, Nobel Prize winners for nitric oxide because yeah. red spinach beets and aronia support nitric oxide. Men take it for sexual purposes. Females take it for energy purposes, right? Right, yes. I created the first blend for recovery purposes. Recover your energy. Recover yeah. your soft tissues. Focus on inflammation. Yes. Let's address it because the body, as you know, doesn't recognize if it's emotional or physical yes inflammation is inflammation stress emotional physical body doesn't recognize stress is stress right so 
we need to be intelligent, but you know, these days, Stacey, I wish we were more in touch with ourselves. Yes. That's one of the biggest problems I see is that our bodies are always talking to us. They're always giving us signals and we ignore them most of the time. Well, not everybody, but a good majority of society ignores those signals. For instance, inflammation. Inflammation is basically when there's a problem in a certain part of the body, your body causes inflammation, but it's telling you, hey, there's a problem here. There's something going on and it's bringing the inflammation in. So the immune system will build up and the immune system will try to help you. But sometimes it's not going to work. It, you know, you need more, but our bodies, like you said, our bodies are always talking to us and giving us signs. And the biggest problem is people don't listen to those signs. I agree. You know, when the when I've gained more awareness and, and education from way more intelligent people than myself, I hire sometimes people, I pay them to interview them just, just to learn more, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And from different arenas that one would say that has nothing to do with nutrition, but what it has to do with is the wholeness of our wellness. Yes. I got, you know, once... I was spending time with a very, um, very wealthy, one would say, very successful human being. And he said to me, um, he was my client, and he said to me, go into event, seminar, in person, in industry that has nothing to do with yours. And I said to him, why? Right will learn things that you may not think right now will be beneficial to you, mm -hmm. but they will speak to you in a louder and more powerful way, how to communicate, how to look at problems, how to listen yourself and others. It was the best advice I got because deeply I knew back then. And that's like, you know, again, between 2010 and 14, that's a time when I really feel like I started to do the deepest work, but I was able to put my skills into place with mom passing away. Right. Um, and that's when I started to pay attention to my emotional balance, my emotional intelligence. I always thought being from Poland that I'm a very good communicator, but what I forgot that loudness doesn't mean that you're a good communicator, right? Right, right, yeah. Stacy, <laughs> I can tell you, little thing and loud. Mm-hmm everywhere and i would say i'm a very good communicator i'm just spitting it out what it's on my mind and whatever yeah. is there it's just la, 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 it's coming yeah. out mm -hmm. without thinking twice the impact i'm making right yeah. that's how i was raised in poland yeah. mm -hmm. to be loud to be seen you had to be loud as a female to be heard seen and get any attention right mm -hmm. so i continued right until I've learned that there are better and more effective ways to connect with people, be heard, be seen, be respected, yes. be admired. And by the end of the day, we all want to be loved, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. 100%. So yeah, the more I've learned about fascia, the more I've learned about the tissue, how it can be impacted physically, yes. emotionally, and nutritionally, that's how ReSync was created. Now, you talked about previous um, therapies that were done on athletes that you didn't really see an effective response. What were some of the previous uh, methods uh, that they were using to help these athletes that didn't really get such a great positive response? And what did you do after you had brought nutrition and you brought your products into place? What changes did you see? Mm, thank you. You know, I always have respect for what's in a place already because that means somebody took the time attention and created a system right but evolution right system yes. change system get better system need modifications little tweaks here and there to really get us in alignment again what i saw and what i could do versus what i had to watch and give it a time to see if it actually works completely two different things so yeah. when i when i started to work with professional athletes a lot of the times i would question what they do in the facility i would be present and i would see but a lot of them remember 
they go out of the facility mm -hmm. in the early evening and the good ones that are not rookies anymore. So the ones that have been in the league for more than five years, they know better that they need to take care of the body. And big part of the salary is going into the body therapy. If they want to stay in the league for more than, you know, five again years. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the top players would do what I would recommend. Go into fascia stretch therapy, go and get actually red light therapy that started to, you know, slow yeah. up. There was different uh, machines that I actually had one of a local from Jupiter uh, chiropractors coming out with me. And he had the first like piezo wave. Piezo wave, it's a powerful uh, magnetic wave yes. treatment that gets deep into your tissue. Yes. It wasn't back then used by the teams at all. It wasn't known. So, and he had one of the first machines that was brought from Germany. Again, new. Yes. New, it's not always welcomed, right? Right, exactly. Systems. If you mm -hmm. don't know something. You fear it. You fear it. It's it's just nature, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are humans. If we've never tried and now I'm coming and telling you that you're wrong or that you may <laughs> not go any better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> took time yeah. that took years um really years i'm not kidding i wish it was weeks no it took years i've highly spoke of those therapies to bring into the teams yeah. finally now they are in they're using it you know cold and heat fundamental right those are fundamental basic therapies that we can do take a cold shower put even some ice in if you are inflamed then yeah. go into the heat and cold again I do that. Very good for our blood flow, very good for yes. our inflammation. Now it's even more and more research coming if the fascia actually likes the cold or it doesn't. Well, you okay. can't finish on the cold because think of it. When you're cold, you're shivering, right? Yes. It's like mm -hmm. I'm always trying to use a common sense and my little Polish, you know, mind, I like to say. Uh -huh. and I'm saying that with, you know, a little sarcasm and and, and, and a joy, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I truly consider myself as an intelligent person, but I love <laughs> making fun of myself. Uh-huh. I, I do okay, the same thing. <laughs> my little Polish mind, yes? Uh -huh. I'm like, okay, we go out, not in Florida, maybe in New Jersey. Right. Now, moving into, like, at least March, it will be cold, right? Yes, it's cold out here right now. Okay. <laughs> you go out just as beautifully you look right now, Stacey, and try to go outside without a jacket, right? Oh, you forget are about it. Cold, right? Yeah. Everything is just like pulling in and just shivering and it's tight. Just yes. think of it tight or really mm. launched. Yes. It's almost the same reaction when we are physically or emotionally abused. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Body That's goes into... Protection Protective mode. Mm -hmm. Nothing good happens for right. an elongated period of time. Right. right? Mm -hmm. The connective tissue doesn't like that. It may like that for a short period if there's an outrageous inflammation that needs to be brought down. But think of it in a warm temperature, your body moves better, right? You right. have elasticity. The body actually can elongate, be pliable, movable, every joint, every cell. So cold, temporarily, good. The fascia, tendons, ligaments need warmth yeah. to be able to move. Right. So Everything always has to have a balance, right? We yes. always look for that. And do I truly believe that there is a perfect balance? I don't know about that. There's yeah. always something going to be higher, something lower. Yeah. I've never met a human being in my life. And I've met some really powerful, intelligent, successful people that there's always something that triggers and yes. takes us out of it, right? Oh, like yeah. We feel Mm, I'm not myself. I need to get back into my own groove. What yeah. do I need? And if we understand each other and we have a good communication with ourselves, we know what tools we need. Right. But imagine you don't have the tools. Yeah. You don't even know that something is off. You don't right. even know how to recognize it, right? Yeah. That's the 
I feel a lot of people are out there and the same was exactly in professional teams. When you don't know what's missing, how do you know it's missing? You don't. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Then we are in the protective mode. What we have is perfect. What we have is good enough. Yes. And then you almost, you know, it's, I don't have children. I have my kitten. And you always <laughs> want her to fell off something to learn, right? Right. Mm -hmm. It's not the place to go. And in the most, you know, maybe selfish way, you had to allow them to learn in a painful way. Right. To realize that there's other ways to approach the subject and potentially better, healthier, faster, less mm -hmm. expensive. And I understand they may not be your idea, but maybe if you can listen to another person, maybe not yeah. me, mm -hmm. you will understand that there is some tremendous value. So electro resonance, you know, magnetic resonance, um, you know, later on came dry needling. Dry needling, I was never a big fan of it from the beginning. And I will tell you why. Mm -hmm. Because I knew that that technique was going to be abused. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know yes. how sometimes you have that new thing coming and yes. everyone needs it? Yes. It becomes the hot trend temporarily. Not everyone needs dry needling. Right. I, do you know, when I, as a coach, I've always said, if I'm going to refer my athlete to anything, if I'm going to make them go through a system, process, methodology, I need to test it on myself. Right. Like I need to understand it and feel it. Yeah. So when dry kneeling was done on me and I said, okay, what is there that really would be considered a dry kneeling, um, you know, service that I would need? And I had some serious spasm when you have a lineman and you oh, have yeah. 350 pounds on you that you have to move your entire core, your shoulders, your neck, everything is in action. So I had some, you know, let's just call it, um, tightness and one of my actually athletes his wife was a therapist who was certified was going through the certification of dry needling i'm like do it on me i want to feel it yeah and i could tell right away i'm like okay she's not really well trained yet because mm -hmm. it was magnificently painful yeah uh, and i said pain plus pain equals double pain yeah so I, I don't like it. Right. I think there's probably too deep that she went into my body with that. But I could see if somebody was adequately, effectively applying the needles with the right intention, purpose, like with any service, there is yeah. a place and a time for everything. But the worst part is when a wrong service is used in the wrong time. Right. That's when further injuries happen. And that happens a lot in professional teams, professional sports, and even in regular life. I hear it, you know, across therapists and physical, uh, excuse me, chiropractors, mm -hmm. uh, what's being applied just because somebody heard that, oh, I've had that. It helped me. You should have that. Right. Not necessarily. No, actually, you are going to do this. And I've said this again to one of my clients. He goes, you know, this guy told me, Another very, you know, successful businessman said to another businessman, I had this, my pain was gone. You should have this done. And I said, don't, please don't. You're going to injure yourself further. Again, mm -hmm. you got to let them go and do it. Yeah. They did it, additional pain. And, the, you know, finally came back and said, what do I do? Well, right. let's take kind of, unfortunately, one step back, but... You know, for progress, I oh, recently, Stacey, I yeah. said, it's not just taking a step back because you're going backwards and you're right. where you were, right? Yes. You've got to understand and have an appreciation, respect for what we're going to do. So very frequently, you got to pause yeah. and go deep. Definitely. Instead of just going backwards, right? 100%. Said, well, and what? We're going backwards and what do I do? I'm just older and going through the same motion and the same things, the same services. Yeah. Not too much of a progress, right? Exactly. Again, communication ability to translate mm -hmm. uh, for someone who went through emotional, physical pain and being able to identify 
what knowledge the person we're communicating may have yeah. and to what level you need to bring yourself down and then what verbiage you need to use for them to feel comfortable, confident mm -hmm. in what you are suggesting, right? Right. Mm -hmm. uh, there are many therapies that I love. My favorite and most impactful, hyperbaric chamber. Yeah. I did it in 2010. Mm -hmm. And if I could make a one change in our our medical system, right? Yeah. Now, besides the fact that everyone should have an access to the healthcare, um, hyperbaric chambers should be available to everyone. I love them. I love them. And, you know, when I, I had a chance to try them in 2010, mm -hmm. again, a decade ago, when nobody knew what hyperbaric chamber was besides people that were in military, mm -hmm. um, divers, right. and wound care patient that would yeah. go through healing because wounds are expedited, the right. healing through oxygenation, right? Yes. And I had a, uh, I have a very uh, nurturing, caring therapist that actually has one of the best uh, facilities in South Florida in Del Rey, Ray Crowley. And Ray Crowley uh, happened to have two of the medical hyperbaric chambers. He invited me and I said, you know, I need to do it myself before right. I will recommend it to professional athletes. So I did, I did 20 dives. They're considered dives. Mm -hmm. One is hour and a half because it takes 10 minutes 15 to bring the level of the oxygen high and then bring it down right okay. and then you have a full hour in the oxygen tank and I did 20 in a 20 days so every day oh, I wow. didn't have injury per se physical that I was dealing with yeah but through a stress as you know I moved from up north I used to live in Boston I went to school mm -hmm. there uh, moving from Boston to Florida, that was stressful. Right. Going through H-1B visa, stressful. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was just going through again, like, oh my God, I am starting a new chapter of my life. Stress, yeah. stress, 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 trying to work with professional athletes. They are, you know, the priority. What do I do for myself? So it was really a nice thing for me because that would be my nap time <laughs> every yeah. day and oxygenation and what it did to me Stacey even though not being sick in any shape or form you would you would think the energy level I got and the ability to hear things so be aware of noise and our environment our nature yes birds were like clearly in my ear yeah wind I could feel it it was just a different level of awareness empowering yourself with senses yes that's what hyperbaric chamber did to me and that's when I started to talk to you know the athletes that I was working with I remember one of Ray Lewis's uh friend was going through a hip injury mm -hmm. so as he was going through a hip injury after, you know, stem cells, we put him into hyperbaric chamber for expediting and enhancing the healing. Back then, stem cells, again, hyperbaric chamber, really not well-known methodologies, right? Yeah. And it's, that's what was missing. It's still missing. Right. A decade later. Um, and, you know, I always have my, I my, my always attitude of why we don't care more for ourselves right why right. we don't do better with that and one thing is we are just not aware of things that are available to us yeah and what they're capable of doing for our health and then if we are and when we are not often you know people can afford it because yeah. hyperbaric chamber is not cheap it's no. 240 250 dollars per dive right no matter, we're not speaking of the sleepy bags that are yeah. useless to, to, you know, deep healing because right. they don't get the level of oxygen where it needs to go mm -hmm. to have a wound healing effect or any connective tissue healing. Right. So still, it's better than none to dive into hyperbaric chamber, the sleeping bags that are now yeah. available in spas and different, you know, resorts maybe. 
Uh, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about really deep healing and medical hyperbaric chamber. I wish it was available everywhere. I wish, yeah. you know, businesses had set up, like if I could, I said the most recent, you know, Powerball, that was there a billion, right? I yeah. said to my sister, I'm like, oh my, I'm like, Brianna, <laughs> what I would do for us? She goes, you would still run the business? I'm like, yeah. I love what I do. We would yeah. just do so much more and better. Yeah. Can you imagine having an office hyperbaric chamber? Oh, like, forget about it. Yeah. It would be like so, a oh, like a dream. I'd want to come into the office every single day. <laughs> and everyone would have to do it, right? Mm -hmm. Imagine the productivity and the likability and like joy to come to the office. Oh my yeah. God this i have that my body feels amazing there's nothing to complain about yeah yeah my dream come true uh, <laughs> yeah, one day maybe uh -huh. i don't really think we'll make it because you know there is probably more probability for resync to make it than me winning powerful right right yeah <laughs> <laughs> i did you know, play though <laughs> yeah we were just at the new york marathon with resync and um me and my assistant were just, you know, the last, almost the last people to leave. And we were there with the manager of the entire facility of the Java Center in New York. And it was right before the Powerball draw. And he said, okay, let's make a deal. If you win, you give me a million. If I win, I give you a million. And I said to him, I'm like, I will even happily give you more than a million, but okay. He goes, how do I find you? So we exchange <laughs> information, we exchange social media, so I can find you, you will not get away with it. It was so funny. And I said, you know what? When you have so much money, there is no other thing but just to contribute to, to our environment and to yeah. goodness and to help people live healthier life, yeah. which we think is all about. So- yeah, I would love to have, I don't need to have a billion. Like, I don't even know what I would do with it, honestly. Yeah. Like, I don't need that much money. Right. Um, we don't need that much to really take the awareness mm -hmm. of people, what's good, what's better, what's healthy. Yes. Uh, what do you need to do and take when? Because what, how much, and when, critical, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I it's, agree. It's, it's so important. Nutrition impacts us emotionally and physically. It does. Uh, just like, you know, our training and just like emotional communication, you know, you have your partner, I have mine. And, you know, when families are unable to compassionately have a constructive, maybe it's not the best, but, you know, I recently said to my husband, if I can have a debate if I can have a conversation with you, if I can do uh, even disagree, but I can learn something from that conversation, I'm a winner. Mm -hmm. I'm a winner. Because I've learned, you know, through my short or someone could say long period of time that I've been alive. Yeah. Uh, that very frequently we are competing with each other in our own relationships. And yeah. my husband is a former athlete himself. Um, he used to play golf in Latin America, even though he's American, never got on the uh, US America, uh, PG America, excuse me. Um, very talented physically, mm -hmm. human being, a very kind human being. And then the two of us competition. <laughs> <laughs> it's these parts. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had to learn. We had to learn not just the love languages, but the fight languages. Yes. Powerful, loud little lady that was very uncomfortable in, in a you know, quiet place, in a silence. Yeah. And I had to appreciate silence. I had to learn how valuable it is. Right. Um, but as someone who communicates so well with body, and I understand when my body is giving me some signs, hey, there is a time, pay attention to this. I sometimes feel like silence, it's like sneaky. I'm like, mm. <laughs> Why? There, there, there is no sound, there is no flow, right? What's yeah. happening? Like, mm -hmm. is, it, is it a silence? Like, is it the silence before a storm in a way? Right. So 
I have to appreciate different silences. And there really are your body yeah. communication, emotional communication, the physicality is yeah. so different. And, and we need to just really be comfortable with it. And one year when I was traveling with the Baltimore Ravens, we had on our actually back written, be comfortable while being uncomfortable. I like that. And it was amazing because me and the chaplain, Johnny, had so many conversations about this because you can just dissect that, Stacey, in so many ways, right? Yes, and you can. Our female element comes in and we throw a different aspects of that, what that means to us. And yeah. then the male come in and then the age comes and then the background and then the race. And I'm like, wow, we can do so many things with that. And, you know, athletes... Athletes very frequently, like we think that they have voice and very frequently they haven't found their voice yet. Yeah. Find it after they're done with their, you know, sports. Right. Not always they have the right people in their team, in their box. I like to say that right. really help them to get in touch with themselves, how yeah. they feel here, not just what's here, because exactly. very frequently they get them into trouble. Yes. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you can you can tell. I I'm just and I can talk about life connection. Fascia is you know it's my favorite subject yeah. because it impacted me deeply, Stacy, mm -hmm. in different stages of my life. Yeah. Once not realizing it, then trying to understand and unwinding the pain and you know reflecting again and valuing. Yeah. The pain appreciating the journey I went through versus feeling resentful, which right. I had all the opportunities to feel that way if I wanted to, right? Exactly. We all have a choice. We really do. We do. Sometimes we just need that person because yeah. it's not within us to understand. And, you know, thankfully to you and, and many fantastic people that have powerful podcasts out there, this is available. Like we don't, we don't need to pay a thousand dollars to go exactly. and see someone, right? Yeah. This is the power of sharing, mm -hmm. of making impact with people. You're in New Jersey. I'm in Florida. Yeah. We connected by such a coincidence, right? Right. Yeah. It's amazing. People have it available, something and our experiences and our knowledge. And maybe, you know, fascia therapy is not for them yet, but right. maybe they'd like to learn more about hyperbaric chambers, or maybe they want to learn more about nitric oxide. So they will check resync, or yeah. maybe they want to learn about collagen because it makes such a big difference in our health as well. Oh my God. But it so does. Yes. Like when my fascia got injured and still again, elbow, yeah. not functional. Mm -hmm. I've learned that collagen is a major protein in our body. It is. And water fascia 70 percent of it is made from collagen yes mm -hmm. i don't so, think a lot of people don't realize that when i tell people that they're like oblivious to it they don't realize that skin you know on our website we have if if people are listening and really want to learn more just about that we have a free class i created it with one of our registered dietitians i hired two registered dietitians in itself just to say hey dive deeply for six months Nothing else is on your schedule but that. What every layer of the body needs nutritionally. Right. That's what they did. And I knew they were like, why does it matter? I'm like, well, first of all, I need to dig deep, deep, deep into fascia because it interests me. There's not enough research yet. There is very little research. It's more from Germany, you know, from colleague that I've had a chance to meet in 2016 at Ulm University, where it's all about fascia, that he does more research in Austria, Germany. We pay attention to it. Yeah. Yes, Harvard started the conversation of fascia uh, around 2000, I think, seven. And still, there's not enough money and awareness. How do we, how can we impact and see what yeah. happens to fascia nutritionally? But we know nitric oxide has a positive impact on fascia. We know, again, fascia is 70% made of collagen yeah so important skin fascia tendons ligaments 
Muscles only 6%. However, let me go right back into it. Then we have cartilage and bones, right? Yes. Anything between 70% to 90%, every layer of our body needs collagen. It's not yeah. just the skin. Yeah. It's really, it's what we don't pay attention underneath the skin that shows superficially. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Like with the emotional pain. If it's yeah. deep, oh, it will show on our face. It will show in our heart. Yes. It will show in different organs of our body. Right. And people frequently go, well, guys, again, athletes, right? Who I've worked with. Yeah. Muscles don't need collagen. Okay, let's have this conversation. Muscles and fascia go hand in hand together. They do. Muscles are embedded into fascia. Mm -hmm. So if I had a net here, give me a second. It's a tensegrity model that mm -hmm. I did not develop. Trust me. Yeah. I would. There are intelligent people out there. Can you see? Because my background is blurry. So I hope you can see I can, it. Yeah? I can see it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. For the purpose of our conversation, Stacey, let's just say that because the, the tensegrity model works a little bit different, like the, you know, there is a fascia, there is bones, there is every, when fascia is tied or it's pulling one yeah. side, everything else is moving, right? Right. Um, the dowels and the wood sticks, you know, they represent the heart skeleton, but yes. those elastics, the soft tissue, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So now think that, let's just say again, for the purpose of this conversation, the elastic here, it's muscle. Right. And then around this, on the top and underneath, you have fascia. Right. So if the fascia is tight or it's not lengthening, it impacts the contraction and yes. ability to relax your muscles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when fascia is unhealthy or it's not neutral, neutrally, nutritionally, excuse me, and physically balanced. Yeah. We pay for it. Oh yeah. There is, there's a difference in, you know, there's never a time when you train your muscles and you don't train fascia because they're connected. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. However, with that being said, you train differently fascia than you yeah. train muscles. And you need to be respectful of the properties that fascia has to know how to train it. This is very new. This is so new, Stacey. In uh, this upcoming December, I'm actually going to coach. Uh, I'm so looking forward to it. All the strength coaches from MLB. Yeah. On the, I will have the 32 coaches there, potentially even more from outside of MLB. And I will coach them how to utilize one of my newest fitness and fascia tools that I created, patented a rehab and fitness tool for food, how to use it to train fascial properties and prevent lower leg injuries. I'm super excited because they don't know what they don't know, right? right. They yeah. are not even aware of what it's coming at them. So I'm excited. Uh, it will be really nice to see the reaction of very particular movements of the ankle joints going into dorsiplantar flexion and how differently when you put the myofascia on the front, myofascia ball, excuse me, on the front or on the back, yeah. um, how it impacts per perception connection of your foot and core muscles. Um, that's really what I used to do with athletes before I founded Resync, right? Yeah. Now the goal is to bring the movement and nutrition together under one umbrella but fascia and muscles need to be taken care of together yes. when we talk about taking care of the body nutritionally physically emotionally you yeah. can't disregard one and make the other one more important because both of them are very important yes they are the significance with fascia even more than a muscle again it's the most sensory rich organ in our body, Stacey. Right. I agree. You know, I've seen so many people, you know, especially my husband has a wellness center and he's a chiropractor and patients will come in and they're bone on bone and mm. they're in so much pain and they could barely walk. And, you know, 
it's like you feel for them, but you know, a lot of this, maybe if they had, you know, if they were on top of the collagen, if they were eating the right foods, if they were incorporating certain nutritions, would it be this extensive or would it be there at all? Could they have prevented it? You know, if they took the right health steps prior to where they were, you know, maybe years, years before, or, you know, you, you know, um, I, I think what you're doing is great. And I love, you know, I just received the products you sent me and resync, especially. I am so um, interested to learn a little more about this because you were talking about when you incorporated nutrition with the athletes, what benefits did you see? Before oh, so yes, that's product? true. You did ask me that question. I didn't no, it's okay. Go ahead. You know, and then we'll go into the products because I want people to understand what powerful impact these nutrition, these reds have on people. Yeah. So, do you know, I, isn't it amazing when you create something and you have like one goal in your mind and then actually you've impacted people in many other ways and you didn't know and they shared that with you? Yeah. So, my goal was let's oxygenate the body as much as possible. Let's recover the energy. Let's decrease inflammation post training. But inflammation, let's give it respect. It needs his its own time, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So don't take it within the hour. Allow the inflammation to go through. And then if there is an overworked, over inflamed body, resync is very powerful. The athletes have done different teams even shared with me that, you know, preseason, during the season and off season, they check the inflammatory markers of the athletes. Maybe not every team does that. Yeah. But then I think teams or athletes themselves do that. They see a dramatic differences in a different inflammatory markers. Mm. Now, then females, and, you know, it happened to be on a, a podcast where uh, one NBA player, um, shared that she was using a whoop app which do you know many people use and find yeah. it very beneficial and she was checking her own markers for recovery and she said if i don't take resync one day i can absolutely feel the difference in my recovery wow that was powerful too. Yeah. We've done a human study on a male and a females in a um, Memphis University. I just wanted to see, Stacey, if the nitrates will increase equally in the blood plasma, right? Yes. With a female and a male. That's what yeah. was interesting to me. And then, of course, age, of course, the level of your you know, physical um, activity impacts. Your gender matters. Your age, as I said, nutritional intake, all yes. of that matters and makes us unique how we react to any supplement, any food. It's not yes. just supplement, any medication even, right? Right, 100%. Everyone reacts differently because yeah. of where we are. So what I found it interesting with Resync is that truly every athlete had a different story. There were a common ground, right? Yeah. Yes, we over faster, which meant I slept better. I didn't have a soreness. I could absolutely sleep better, which wasn't something I was looking into. I'm like, because if you support oxygenation, right? Again, going back to my little Polish mind, common sense, you support oxygenation, you support nitric oxide, you will think energy. So don't take it at night, right? Maybe right, right. get energy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if the body is not oxygenated, it will be out of a balance. Different organs will be overreactive, underreactive, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So with certain athletes, they came to me and they said, hey, B, because that was, you know, one way I was called, Miss B, B, Barb, uh, all kinds of Miss Barbie. I, I've heard it all. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard it all. Um, <laughs> that one was Miss B. Um I sleep better on it. I said, fantastic. I said, let's stay with this. And yeah. then let's see if that changes. And if it's just, you know, because sometimes you may react positively for five days and then you plateau. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you again feel it, right? So yeah. again, everyone is different. We did a human study on heart health with our resync yeah. uh, in Canada. 
endothelial health improved, which is so important for energy, for blood flow, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't finish the eight weeks because COVID happened. Yeah. And unfortunately, you know, we had to pause. But within the five weeks, what we have seen, it was positive. The impact yeah. on the blood pressure, the impact on the endothelial health. I'm like, wow, I didn't know what I was creating, that it was going to be so impactful. My point was, let's just recover faster. Let's yeah. just be ready. You know, let's take something post-travel. Because sometimes when you travel with those athletes, you know, game is what? One o'clock. Sunday, right? right. Mm -hmm. It ends for, but before we take a shower, before we, you know, pack, before we take the bus to the plane, before we land, it's sometimes 10 o'clock, if not yeah. later. And mm -hmm. then you go to the West Coast for a game and your schedule is all screwed up. Yes. So what we were eating on the plane mattered tremendously. What the athletes got right after they came off of the field matter tremendously yeah and everything was helping them you know uh recover from those crazy travel times and and the practices was very valuable so again inflammatory markers faster recovery less soreness are the typical common ground of what athletes would feel right yeah and i get sometimes phone calls surprising to our office people call and thank us stacy which is the best thing because then you really appreciate the long hours, yes. the seven days a week going. Because oh, people don't see 100%. it, right? what I have to do as a small business owner. Right. I mean, yesterday I was unloading 140 boxes. Yeah. Because, wow. you know, uh, you can't find the right help here on time. So yeah. am I going to wait? No, I'm going to do it. And then when I donate something to help local people even live healthier, like we're donating during a Thanksgiving, I saw the person that was unloading the truck supposed to, he was 73 years old, very fragile man. Yeah. And I'm not saying that every 73 year old is fragile. I'm sorry, please don't take me wrong. Yeah. But he was, and I could see it. And I said, time out. Mm -hmm. I respect your body. I respect that you want to do it. Allow us to contribute and we will donate when it's needed on time. You're not going to do it. I'm like, I wish someone communicated with me that that man was going to do that. I didn't want to put more inflammation on him yeah. and destroy his body. So I do things on a regular basis in our office that I even take my own product because I know that as a business woman, yeah. a business person, we are having stress in our life. Yeah. It's we need good nutrition besides, you know, movement and healthy communication. Nutrition plays a massive impact. So I take Resync and I add it into either hot water in the office. I like to have a tea. I, I love it. Besides coffee. Yeah, yeah. So I will take a scoop, mix it in a hot water and it's my tea. Sometimes I like to add ginger tea on top of it because it does have already ginger and turmeric in right. there. It's Aronia Mango. So the product that you are showing, that's the product that I'm referring. I like to make a tea. Sometimes I like to put it just into plain yogurt, right. just like collagen. And the same I'm doing with oats. If I want any antioxidants, a plant-based nitrates to impact my energy and my inflammation as a business person, that's going in. I'm stirring and I don't need any, you know, sugar per se. But right. I am a huge fan of berries. Because the polyphenols are so powerful, yeah. and one when polyphenol is not equal other. Um, I chose Aronia for a reason. Yeah, um, research. <laughs> you know, Austria, Poland, uh, Germany, uh, Russia, and Ukraine. Uh, those are countries that really were huge on have been on yeah. Aronia. Aronia actually ninety seven percent is a supplier to the world of Aronia for reason. Right. Um, we cannot use any pesticides in Poland. Um, Non-GMO is a must. It's it's actually... Wish it was like that in America. <laughs> I know. And then on top of those regulations, you know, Aronia is a very different berry than, for example, your blueberry. It When it grows, it doesn't collect 
cadmium or any heavy metals that normally berries have on them and then you have to get rid of it right have that and you know in addition and it's not the only other benefit it actually um takes away iron from a bad bacteria through our intestine so that's why during a COVID, a lot of functional medicine doctors uh back in poland you know, we're giving people the extracts because the extract is so much more powerful. It's standardized to anthocyanins, which mm-hmm. the berry itself would have to eat pounds of it. Right? Oh, yeah. Impossible. Yeah, it's impossible. You'd have to eat like 300 berries. <laughs> that's when, and that's when, again, supplements are powerful. Yes. If not everyone is equal if they are made properly, right? Right. With the specific standardization, and then you give them the right amount per serving. Mm-hmm. And this is when, when I'm a stickler to quality, Stacey, you don't know me that well. I mean, quality is non-negotiable, period. Yeah. Everyone that is in my life knows that. When somebody comes to say, hey, I found a new ingredient, you should check it out. I get on the phone call with the actually people that are in the, science and then marketing and they yeah. throw all kinds of claims right and yes. I'm like evidence 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 show it to me what dosage was that study done on and what dosage you actually tell us to use in the products right and then we start asking the right questions which is the key in any communication right yes. being able to ask the right questions you realize that there is very frequently Companies are trying to sell you cheaper product because they, it was made with fillers. Yes, that's a big problem. But because it was made with fillers, even though they got a good result on something that people talk about, let's just say bioavailability of turmeric, because it was one of you know the things that just got my attention and hit me so deeply. I said, how can you even sell that product, work for the company? When you're saying to me, you're giving a turmeric, yes, it's three times less expensive than the one I use. But you use a spiller to make it more bioavailable, which technically destroys the gut health and doesn't contribute to the health. Yeah. That should be on your certificate of analysis. Right. Again, you got to know what you are looking for and what questions you need to ask, right? right? How did you make it more bioavailable? Walk me through the process. And then you have to understand the process to actually know what's healthy, what's not, right? Right. So I had to learn a lot, uh, you know, after I developed the product, after I put it through NSF uh, testing, which is the fundamental or, you know, found fundamental in pro sports uh, testing for professional athletes and not just NSF, NSF sport, which means that my finished product, the top that you have, went through a full testing, bent right. substance testing, which means what's on the label, it's actually inside of the product. And then that there is no banned substances that are on the list of prohibited substances that athletes can take and sometimes get into trouble and are, you know, dismissed from their games for six, eight, sometimes a season, depending what they were taking, right? Right. And you would be surprised, Stacey, how many companies actually have banned substance in their products. Yeah. And I'm not saying that it's a diabolical job done on them purposely. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's the, you know dirty facility that they produce them in yes and one product that was made earlier and the tanks were not cleaned properly and the company coming after paid the price yeah that's when you have to find fda doesn't regulate supplements as you know yes people don't know that and then they say well is it fda approved no supplement on the market ladies and gentlemen yeah is approved by fda but I can tell you there are facilities that are FDA certified that are disgusting and I wouldn't, you know, do anything there. And yeah. there are facilities that are NSF certified, BSCG, and you can go like this and you will not find a dust right. you know, on yes. it. And you're like, okay, I'm good. They're, they have their processes in place. Um, do you know how hard it was for me, Stacy, to find actually a quality manufacturer it still is for our beverage? I used the first beverage we've made with the red spinach beets, aronia, yes. um, seven grams of fiber, 
five doses of vitamin C, D3, yes. B6, and B12. I made it initially, yes. <laughs> We've made it in Poland because I couldn't find, and this is during COVID, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. COVID allowed me to do, connect with people that were healthy, in and out, and understood what I needed and what I was willing to pay for a shipment. Yeah. Versus facing here, you know, a con job, really, and couldn't find a manufacturer. Oh, that's because so sad. It really is because either you are facing the people that are saying, well, at least a million cans, it's the minimum you need to run, or a quarter of a million. And for a small company, that's you a don't lot of cans. <laughs> well, and then one can, I'm telling you right now, doesn't cost less than a dollar. Okay. So right. then think of the money. Like our products are expensive to make. They have nutritional value, actually. It's not water and sugar. Right. This is where the challenge comes as well, because then is the price and people are like, why is it so expensive? I'm like, it's not expensive when you think what it actually delivers to you. Yes. And when you actually share with people, they understand the value and they're willing to pay. But yes. when you look at Coke, when you look at something that just has water, sugar, and nothing in it, yeah. or synthetic flavor, and that costs $2, but it costs 10 cents to make. Right can't negotiate with that yeah i can't i i just i'm not going to win so you know at this stage i i know i have a massive impact that i well massive i've made an every year a more impact with the supplements and we just came out during the COVID with the beverage and literally on friday we went into production of the new that is coming out and i will ship it to you once it's available i should have it once it goes through the mm -hmm. testing I'm excited. And microbial testing. Um, but this is like what I do. Quality is so important to me that I need to make sure that everything is tested before I put it on, you know, our website, some of it is on Amazon, and then that I can share with functional medicine doctors because we have them, chiropractors, they have our wholesale accounts with us yeah. because they share the value that our products do. Like, right. you know, another call I got from Mexico. Can you believe it? From Mexico, functional medicine doctor is calling me and saying, I'm taking your products, your collagen with the nitric oxide. And my patient was in pain for a year. She has been on your product just for a month. She's out of the pain. I'm like, wow. That, that's what makes me happy. Yeah. You know, this is when I say, are you, are you serious? Are you not lying? What was the condition? And we go through it. I'm like, what did, what else did you do? She goes, I didn't change anything else in her, you know, procedures. And it, she only did one scoop of your collagen a day. And then I had a chance to meet the functional medicine doctor in person. And, wow. you know, and yeah. And then she's thinking about making it in Mexico now because she sees the benefit. She goes, I would love to bring it to all my clinics. She is an owner of 13 like clinics. So she wants to go there, but then different regulations in Mexico than here. So mm -hmm. I'm going through all of the processes and trying to help people really yeah. as in an inexpensive way as possible to have access to our products. Right. Sometimes it doesn't work because again, regulations in place. And then I don't want to put just hundred milligrams of, you know, red spinach when I know I need 20 times more of that. Right. So, and then there are companies that have, you know, our, some of our ingredients are like, oh, we have that. Oh, we have that. Oh, we have that. And I'm like, quality and quantity matters. It does a hundred percent. For the results to take place. Yes. So, I know I went around it and I know, you know, I no. didn't maybe answer uh, directly, quickly, briefly, as sometimes it's very valuable to do. But I think you provided a lot of good information that people need to to realize. And I think one of the main factors I think that people need to realize from what you said is that people also need to do their homework because a lot of people think if they go to Costco or they go to a Sam's Club and they pick up a supplement off the, sh the, 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 uh, the shelf, especially the elder generation, it's going to do the trick. And they don't realize that you really have to see what's on the label and you really need to do your research and, you know, people get fixed in their own ways or they're just not educated in that area and they end up 
hurting themselves because they're buying the wrong products and they're wasting money and they're not getting the results that they're looking for. And then they think, well, this is just not going to work at all. You know, this supplement won't work because this product didn't work, you know, and, and it brings their hope all the way down. But people have to realize they have to start doing research about supplements and understanding what fillers are and understanding, you know, if you can't pronounce the word in the back of the ingredients, then it's probably not very good for you. And you brought up very important aspect of, unfortunately, supplement industry. Um, not every supplement, like I said, is made equal. Not every company, majority, 90, I'm going to say five, at least 95% of them, don't do what I just said, put their finished product through testing. Yes. If you don't see a label of NSF support, BSCG with all of the certifications, not just one. And then there is, um, oh, wow, there is one more. Oof. Um, I can't think of it right now, even though I know I've checked all of the three, but it's yes. the, the one that actually doesn't test as for many bent substances. That's why we're not mm -hmm. using them. But there are three really companies. And if you don't have a mark on the product yes the label that it was tested by a third party those three i don't care about just because somebody says it's organic mm -hmm. doesn't mean it's organic i know no, it's terrible. no it really doesn't it's got to be tested by certified organic and then again i want to emphasize just because it's certified organic that doesn't mean that there is no contamination in the product while it was produced right exactly Again, it's so important for people to know but you know costco sound club i'm not <laughs> saying that products i i don't know i don't go to costco and i don't go to some club so i don't know what products are there no, but they have like various types of products but not all of them are great products is what i'm trying to say you know when you look on the back of the ingredients it's like you get disappointed but not everybody's going to know that and someone in their 60s or someone that's not well educated about supplements is not going to understand that unless they do the research themselves they just go for the price Yes. So if they just go for the price and they're like, oh, this is cheap. And I've heard someone that collagen is good, but it, again, has just a plain collagen and nothing else in it. Oh, and I'm drinking it in my coffee. I'm doing something good. No, you don't. You actually are wasting your money because plain collagen in itself doesn't do anything. And that's what we know. Yes. Perfect example of what maybe is seen somewhere in Costco. And, you know, people sometimes ask me why you are not exactly in some of the chains, even Whole Foods. And I say to them very honestly, my products are too expensive to make. They would need to charge at least $80 per top in the wholesale, uh, in the, excuse me, uh, Whole Foods or Publix or any of the places. So I get my wholesale yeah. and they, make, you know, on top of the money. So that's why I don't go there because I would lose money and they would want me to make very little, if any, and then making the money and usually small businesses can't afford it yeah mm -hmm. really cannot afford it so the best way is for us to communicate through our you know own platform online uh through our e-commerce shop on recentproducts.com and then amazon and yes of course direct to consumer through chiropractors functional medicine doctors we have some registered dietitian or uh, coaches that have a wholesale accounts with us. Absolutely. I'm all about it. Don't pay for shipping, save money. Hey, great. My best way to serve people. How can I help you? How can I make it affordable for you? Right. I don't expect to go to Whole Foods when I know they're going to destroy me and then my brand as well. Mm -hmm. And on top of it, my brand doesn't speak on the shelf. So right. I'm competing against just beat in itself powder, which yeah. is... <laughs> comparable like beet is one of my ingredients and beet is so inconsistent in nature beet in itself is not good enough like yes. the message i share with athletes coaches registered dietitian doctors all the time educating them companies use sodium nitrate or other synthetics to standardize their beet products so actually make an impact again depending who you are what you want i'm not saying don't take them right if you want the beat and the synthetic stuff that it's in it, take it. Mm -hmm. it. It makes an impact and that's what you want to do. And it's cheaper. Go for it. When you want a plant-based nitrates from red spinach beets aronia, not synthetic, 
form of nitrate, then you come to resync. Right. It's just a philosophy. What do you put inside of your body? I'm not ever imposing on people that this is the only way. I give people choices. Right. I share a message. I educate them. By the end of the day, Stacey, you and I making the decision, right? For right. ourselves. Mm -hmm. Nobody else is going to do it for us. Right. And even, you know, like, you know, you, you talk about how your products are expensive, but I've, I've come across like products, like it had three ingredients. It had beet, it had green beans in it. Um, you know, it had green um, tea extract and it had um, apple cider vinegar. And it claimed to give you lots of energy before you exercise. Now, do you really think it was the beet that gave you all that energy or was it the green beans that gave you all that energy? So, you know, and yep. you're paying $50 for that that container powder. So wow. three, those three ingredients, how much do you think it costs for them to manufacture? Wow. I'm so telling you right now, beet. <laughs> <laughs> Beet is cheap. Yeah. Let's put it this way. Uh, red spinach cost 100 times more than beet. Yes. And then aronia is my most expensive ingredient in every product. It costs several hundred dollars per kilo. Mm, wow. Okay. So it, we are talking about, again, the same like I've mentioned about the beverage, right? Yeah. Something costs 10 cents, 20 cents to make, and they sell it for two bucks versus recent cost to produce in between dollar to two to make. So then, of course, you need to go and charge, you know, at least four dollars to have your wholesale. I mean, it's just no brainer, right? right? Otherwise, you're going out of business. But then the markups that businesses can have on a beverage like us are amazing. Yeah. Because even though you pay 250 wholesale, right? Right. You can sell it for 455 and you make way more money with Resync than you would with Coke or any other, you know, company that even, I'm sorry, I can't speak badly about anyone. I don't want to get sued here. Because <laughs> um, so you got to be careful. But yeah. it's not my choice of a drink, right? Everyone right. has their own choices. We, right. in a way, a lot of us in the US got addicted to those drinks they oh, yeah. have ingredients in them to addict so, us yes they change the chemicals in our brain and they make they make us addicted to it where we want you crave for more now yeah. tell me more about resync and i want to know more about this product what are the benefits now if, if people took the resync recovery blend which is mm -hmm. this now, what is people? What are people going to be benefits for? Who is your audience? Who are the people who would benefit the most from this product? So, two audiences are major for us, right? Those are really our customers: athletes, because mm -hmm. they take it for athletes take nitric oxide for you know energy. Yes, I don't really advertise our products for energy because I really care way more about recovery your energy, recover yes. your. So then you have the energy to do. So if you're athletic or you have very active lifestyle, this is a product for you to take, especially after your day, after your workout, an hour after, after your travel. If you're a busy traveler, business person, or you are on the go, take that product with you. I travel with it. I have no problems. And I always have carry on, by the way. Yeah. Um, don't ever check my luggage on, even if I, <laughs> I, I can't. You see mine. <laughs> I'm doing magical stuff. You know, one outfit, how can it be used in three different ways? And really, hopefully, not sweating while having dinner or being in the cocktail or whatever I need to do and pack as precisely as possible. Yes. Now, the other population that really benefits tremendously and takes actually our products, people 40 plus, like myself. Yes. Nitric oxide decreases with age. Mm -hmm. Men, more than women, decrease fast after 40. Women, 45, they start to decline. So your heart health, your energy is starting to decline. Yes, it is. That's why people take recent recovery. Also, again, from my conversation with functional medicine doctors, why they use it, they use it for inflammatory markers mm. to decrease specific inflammatory markers, depending on what they see in their testing, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. There are different tests to test it, depending which one you use and what inflammatory markers you go after. So inflammatory markers, recovery of your energy, nitric oxide are the three really top things that I always emphasize with the recent recovery. 
That's excellent. I think that I'll be, I'm going to be taking this soon and I'm going to definitely make a video. So my, my listeners actually hear about all the positive things because from all the scientific research and all the information you provided, I, I think I'm going to get a lot of benefits from taking this and I could definitely use it for various reasons. And so I'm, I'm very excited to try this now, recent collagen peptides. Now, Tell people what the benefits are and who the audience is, like what, you know, because we people don't realize that as we get older, we produce less and less collagen and collagen is such an important factor for our bodies. We need collagen. We have to have collagen in our body. And we've talked about this in the beginning of the show and you gave the percentages and you explained why collagen is so important. Now, what does this do for you? Yep. So that product was created exactly to support the every layer of the body strength with the collagen. As we said, everything between skin and bone needs collagen. Yes. But I also said that collagen plain powder in itself, it's not going to do anything. That's yes. just science telling us. So the product has vitamin C and copper in it as well to help you make collagen because there is no such a thing as just eating healthy diet will help you maintain your body, but it's not rebuilding naturally your collagen. So you have right. to be able to make it, right? Yes. So vitamin C copper to help you make collagen. Um, there is the red spinach beets aronia that it's in every hour, our product to really support the nitric oxide and impact the inflammation. Then right. you have also glucosamine to support the joint health. And you have Boswellia serrata that the company we're using uh, the ingredient from the, their own clinical studies on recovery of the muscle soreness. This is a very specific claim they tested, right? So when do you take the product? The product you can take, usually collagen is being taken in the morning because that's when you have the highest synthesis, mm -hmm. Stacey, of your collagen. Okay. Again, with my, you know, attitude to let's ask, you know, questions to the people that could have the answers scientists and researchers don't have the answer yet should we take the collagen at night because that's when the you know body, body reproduces covered. yes mm -hmm. and certain amino acids are kicking and rebuilding our body right right there's not enough research i like it at night again as a tea hot water dilute it and take it to support the rebuilding of yeah. the body while i'm sleeping we know from athletes, again, people that are functional medicine doctor, that's exactly the product she was talking about, the collagen with the uh, nitric oxide ingredients in it, that that's when her patient went out of the pain, right? There are several stories like that I get, and we get a phone calls and actually sometimes emails, and there are some testimonials on, on our website about that, when people really call and with tears in their eyes say, thank you. Yeah. So am I going to say, if you are in pain, take it? No, because it wouldn't be right, right? Everyone, again, body is different. Yeah. But when you're trying to support your joints, your soft tissues that surround the bones and cartilage, the tendons, ligaments, fascia, mm -hmm. remember that they need collagen. They do. When protein doesn't contain the key amino acids that ligaments and tendons, fascia require. Yes, then in itself, it's 40% made of glycine. Mm -hmm. Whey protein doesn't have a glycine. Right. You can't just take whey protein post-workout or on a daily basis into your shake and say, you know, I did what I what I really need to. Yeah. I don't replenish with the amino acids that play a critical role in your soft tissue system. Right. Now, additionally, I'm going to say it, because I have the opportunity to speak with you. If you are a, an athlete, an active person, and you take a whey protein after workout, be aware to put the collagen there because whey protein actually decreases glycine in the body mm -hmm. within the hour of workout. So it's detrimental to your tendons ligament. So people have a lot of tears, right? Tears yeah. um, and soft tissue injuries, ligaments, yeah. tendons. And they don't take the right protein to support the strength of the soft tissue. So right. if you are going to take the whey protein, which I'm not against in itself, you just need to have the full spectrum of the amino acids and whey protein doesn't have the glycine as much as collagen. And then 
in itself, it decreases the glycine level. So you got to take something else. So can the collagen be taken prior uh, workout? Absolutely, within an hour. It supports your joint health and the soft tissues. Now, can it be taken after? I take it again, rebuilding process, right? Just what I said, you can't just take a whey protein without something else. So technically, when we think about this, there is a no wrong time to take the collagen and you don't need to be an athlete. Of course, we all walk. Yes. Some of us are gifted and, and able to walk. I want to be respectful because there's some people that are unable or went through a surgery and are not, you know, as capable yeah. as we are. But if you do have two legs, and you are capable of walking, there is no wrong time for you to take collagen because again, your body is made of it. So you got to really respect your body and deliver what it needs to function and keep yes. it going. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Now the drink, I want to learn more about this drink because this, you, it helps your immune system, your heart, your gut. Tell me a little bit more about this drink. And so, you know, when COVID hit, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was such a challenging time and probably, you know, between you and me, we've lost some people that somewhere we came across them or we've heard of them. Yeah. And maybe not directly from a family, but somewhere. And, and we've lost quite a tremendous amount of people. Yeah. Some would argue through COVID, some would argue from the vaccination and, you know, completely different subject. However, our goal was how can we support the key systems in the body with actually slightly carbonated beverage that tastes good and it's really good for you. That's when I said, okay, I know our supplements work. I know our proprietary blend, our signature reds, the red spinach, beets, aronia are powerful. Let's add it to the beverage. Mm -hmm. Let's surround it by synergistic ingredients that can support the heart, gut, and immunity. So you have the red spinach beets aronia to really support the heart health. Yes, the nitric mm -hmm. oxide. You have the uh, seven grams of fiber. Actually, this beverage that you have is having seven grams of fiber from inulin and beta-glucan. So plant-based. And then we have five doses of vitamin C. Then we have 50% of vitamin D3 because I know a lot of people already may be taking vitamin D3. And again, overdose. It's not good for, with anything, even with good ingredients. Yes. Um, and then we have vitamin B6 and B12 in it to really support, again, the energy and immune health, right? right? So it's a very functional, healthy beverage that you can drink at any time. Of course, because it's slightly carbonated, I would never suggest anything carbonated to be uh, consumed prior exercise or during, right? Yeah. Uh, it's when, you know, I'm sitting at the desk, great refreshment to have. By the end of the day, great refreshment. And trust okay. me, I even know today, because it has been on the market now for over a year, that it's really good with tequila. It's very <laughs> good with many other things that people tell us, right? <laughs> fantastic with tequila it's fantastic i'm gonna with try it with tequila <laughs> and you know what when we were we were um able and and uh, really um it was an honor to be part of a pga event in 2020 yeah 2020 no 2021 excuse me mm -hmm. and the bartenders who had access to our beverage were making the the exactly all kinds of drink of resync and they're like miss depta you need to have your beverage with tequila i said gentlemen tequila makes me coco loco so <laughs> I say, no thank you i'm still at work here so i will <laughs> pause and no i will do it later they're like no it's not so strong and it's really good stacy <laughs> my assistant took a picture of me drinking through the straw I, it was so good. I'm like, <laughs> what did you do to it? So they, and I'm not, you know, advertising here, drinking uh, yeah. alcohol. No. It was really well balanced. The tequila, the resync, a little bit of, they threw a little bit of lime and a little, little bit of agave. And I'm oh, like, wow. Oh, Ooh, that tastes, that, 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 those ingredients together sound really good. <laughs> And let me tell you, I wasn't Coco Loco. I was perfectly fine. Uh, so it was a nice, really nice balanced drink. But then we came to the office and I'm like, let's replicate this 
after Friday. Yeah. <laughs> so I replicated with, uh, with tequila and I didn't add anything, just that and tequila. And it's just really, again, depending how strong you like it, if you like something yeah. else, right. I, I don't like the salt and anything around my margarita. So I'm very particular how I like to, you know, have anything. And if anything, I love just red wine. So it doesn't go well with red wine. I can tell you. <laughs> Even though my girlfriend mixed red wine, resync, and she decided to make, um, what's the red uh, beverage that sometimes uh, companies make, uh, restaurants make? Oh, mine. Um, beverage. Um not a bloody mary no uh oh wow blank 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 i can't think of it i can't think of it wow what a bummer i can't I, think of it too i can't think Wine, of it everything. oh wow usually it's like in a you know in a picture they give it to you oh sangria yeah, thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Another way uh, to, I guess, make resync, uh, you know, in the alcoholic way. Um, and then we know because resync at this point is distributed by really very um, well respected luxury uh, resorts, Alberge resorts. Uh, seven all together so far, five in US and two in Cabo. And they serve it as an alcoholic beverage. They make their own, you know, twist, of course, um, drinks that women especially uh, really prefer and like. So yeah. there's many ways to drink it. And I think you would even like this one, upcoming one. I've worked for the last six months, Stacey, so hard on the taste, so hard. <laughs> I mean, so- I can only the, imagine. Again, beverage came, you know, uh, late 2020, uh, it, it wasn't good. We had to change things 2021. Finally, I'm like, oh, this is nice. And now, third time, I'm like, wow, this is good. Mm -hmm. Like, this I like. This I can absolutely take. No aftertaste whatsoever of anything. I'm like, fantastic. Finally, we nailed it. Oh, so, awesome. So it's it's coming. It's coming your way wait but this one is really good too so you know it's then you have the individual taste right yeah what do you like? everyone is different right exactly everyone is different and uh i'm very respectful of people taste but i can tell you since i started resync all together i maybe stacy and i'm maybe not even five people since 2017 said anything about the flavor is not good of our products. Wow. That's, that's yeah. really something. Cause you know, you always have that small percentage that says, you know, bah, 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 you know, that's very impressive. That's very impressive. Yeah. And, but you know, you didn't always, like, we just, like I said, we came back from uh, New York city marathon. And when you have thousands of people coming to your booth and then of course you hear things, right? Yeah. So, oh, I like this more. Oh, I like this. Ooh. <laughs> And you know, you're you're reading people's faces and it's like you want to know why, but it's like sometimes even though you know why, everyone has such a different reason why they don't like it that yeah you can't please everyone. You really can't. So yeah. I appreciate everyone having their own, you know, twist and likability. Um, that's why we're unique, that's why we're different, and that's what's amazing about us. And I, I just want to make clear to people that we talked a lot about athletes and, and we talked about pain, but people have to all realize it's not just geared towards athletes and people who are oh, active. No, 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 you know, yes. you could be on a mouse in front of a computer all day or on the couch and not get enough of circulation and the pain, you know, develops, you know, whether you're sitting on the couch, just being a couch potato or work behind a computer, your hand is wrapped around that mouse all day long good for you you just you know? simply want something good for you with better for you ingredients that yeah. not, not i'm telling you right now are not available in the store aronia is not normally available red spinach is definitely not available no it's not not in the quantities that it's required to yes. make any physiological impact right so yeah absolutely just because it was made for athletes with intention initially the purpose the journey the results have 
absolutely opened the door and possibilities to serve everyone, not just professional athletes. Yes. And one thing that people have to keep in mind is as we get older, we, we, we don't develop as much, um, our body doesn't produce as much and we start feeling, you know, the pains, the aches, the tiredness, the fatigue, and all the other symptoms that come along. And this is great for people as we get older too, who need a little boost, who need to develop their collagen, get it back on track for people who need to, you know, feel more energetic. You know, it, this does, these, these products do so many things and can help so many people. And that's one thing that you need to recognize also that this is great, especially as we get Get older and our body is producing less. This is a great product to make us feel good and feel like we were trying to say as balanced as possible so we could do the things we want to do and not be subjected to, you know, pains and aches and, and fatigue and a, a lot of other things. You know, we want to be able to be able to be as, as vibrant and painless as possible so we can continue to live a happy, healthy, and productive life. Yeah. And also, Stacey, you know, I always say that um, ask questions, yes. you know, if, if you have questions for us and you are not sure if this is a product for you, what it can do, or if you're the right, you know, person, I mean, I always say we all need energy. We yes. all get stressed out. We all need to recover by the end of the day yes. and we want healthy, soft tissue to carry yes. us on and allow us to go for a walk, play with kids, play with our pets be available, live our life happily, right? Yeah. Oh, so we are our body. Yes. And we are our own athletes. I always say, you That's move, great. Athletes move, they just move in a different speed, different yes. velocity, right? Exactly. Uh, and for different purpose. So we really need to start respecting our body more. A hundred percent. We need to respect ourselves more. And I think this is where really completely different conversation can take a place, Stacey. And I know we've been already on for such a long time. So we could do another video, another podcast and talk about that next time. <laughs> yeah. It's just, you know, because we don't respect ourselves so much, then we disrespect others. Yeah. It's a hundred percent true. We, we really need to learn how to communicate with ourselves, how to be good to ourselves, how to respect ourselves, and then we can be better for other people. A hundred percent. Now, where can people find your products? So what's your website? First of all, tell everybody your website. Yeah. So it's Resync, R-E-S-Y-N-C, products, plural, P-R-O-D-U-C-T-S, products, C-T-S, yeah, products.com, resyncproducts.com. That's the website. And also we are on Amazon. And then again, depending where you live, right? Maybe your functional medicine doctor has it. Um, there are very few selective that carry it. Um, maybe your chiropractor or again, strength coach, but if they don't, you can tell them about us. Right. And they yes. may, maybe they will consider, or they can ask for samples and I'm all about really sending it in advance. So someone can taste it for themselves. Again, I'm a big advocate to testing and checking things before I advise anyone or share with anything. So I completely understand it's necessary for the growth. So again, if you're a professional, you're, you are listening and you would like a sample, so reach out to us and uh, we will provide you some so we can test with your facility, with your team and see if it's the right fit. Um, sometimes depending who is reaching out, we would make also, you know, we have a lot of pouches made for us and we ship little samples for people just to taste the flavor, right? Mm -hmm. Just to say, hey. You like the flavor, then you can continue and you can buy it, right? Right. But it's not a sample to make you feel the difference that right. a month or a two of taking it would make the difference for you. So I want to make that very, very clear. Sometimes people are like, oh, can I get a sample? I'm like, for what purpose you want to get the sample, yes, right? Like, exactly. let's just be really clear here. So I don't set up you for a failure and my company. And I think that's a very good point because a lot of people think they want a quick fix. They think, okay, I'll take it. I'll take it for a couple of days. I should feel a, a change right away. And it does not happen like that. You have to take something for at least one, two, three months to actually start to feel the real changes start to begin, you know, begin, you know, because things don't happen overnight. You'll see improvements, you'll see small improvements, and that's how you'll know it's working. But the longer you take it, the better you will feel 
And then by taking it consistently, you will continue to feel improvement and you will get to that point where you are at your point where you feel the way you want to feel. Yeah, no, I agree. And listen, like I said also and mentioned with you prior, um, everyone is different. Yes. And someone may feel the difference within 48 hours, depending what they're looking for, right? Recovery, you will feel. Yes. Uh, and the till your health might take three weeks, right? right. Mm -hmm. um, collagen, you know, collagen takes months. It does. Right? Soft tissue healing and reproduction takes longer. It does. It's just not, you know, overnight thing. It's just not going to happen. And then right. how do you check, right? What are your markers? Like, yes. are you reasonable? So are you setting up yourself for the wrong, uh, you know, even projections and expectations and, and, and just be real and right. good to yourself and don't set yourself up for a failure. It's the worst way to approach anything. Right. Exactly. Three steps. One step at a time. Consistency. Yes. I, I think that's great advice to give. Well, I'll tell you, Barbara, it's been a pleasure having you here. You've provided a wealth of information, and I think a lot of people are going to benefit from the information you provided and from your products. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for being on our show. Yeah, no, I'm very grateful to be here again. Thank you for your time, attention, and for what you do and giving me the opportunity to share. It's wonderful. Grateful. Oh, you're very welcome. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.